Here now to react, Indiana Congressman Jim Banks, who's been one of the leading figures in Congress, raising the alarm about the national security threat from Huawei. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us tonight. What is your reaction to this? Well, Steve, it would be laughable if it weren't so serious. Uh, one of the reasons that Donald Trump was elected to begin with is because for eight years, Barack Obama was a doormat for the Chinese. So for one of his for one of Obama's top cybersecurity officials to be hired to lobby for our enemy, the Chinese, is sadly not something that really surprises me. So the thing that I, I really want to get your um, insight on is you know, we can be outraged. You're outraged. Uh, so am I. I think everyone watching will be. But we don't just want to expose this. My question is, what can we do to stop it? I mean, when we say this is a national security threat, that's, that's a real thing. So what can we do? I just want to put up on screen something that, you know, some people might think this is over the top. But it is the, from the Constitution, it is the definition of treason. Treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. What is this if it's not aid to our enemy? What, I mean, I'm sorry, what else is it? I know that there's a sort of technical thing that then they're not our enemy because we're not technically at war with them. They sure as hell are at war with us. How do we stop this? There's no question about it. Well, first of all, to your point, we have to put pressure on this official and anyone else who would dare to lobby for the Trojan horses of the Chinese like Huawei or ZTE. We, we have to expose it. And that's exactly what you're doing tonight. But what, I, what I'm doing in Congress right now is putting pressure mm -hmm. on Huawei and preventing Huawei from infiltrating the telecommunications apparatus of the United States. I've introduced legislation that would kick Huawei off of college campuses. Right now, we hundreds of millions of dollars have been donated by Huawei and other Chinese entities to American universities. And I've introduced mm -hmm. the Protect Our Universities Act to try to rid and untangle some of these influences on college campuses where we've exposed not just our university students, but much of our sensitive uh, research at the same time to some of these entities. So uh, this uh, this Obama official certainly has his hands full and, and things that he's going to do on okay. behalf of our enemy, the Chinese and their their Trojan horse Huawei and his I, lobbying efforts. And we certainly need, need to do more to expose that and make his job much harder to do. Well, I thank, thank you for all that really practical uh, work on, on the other aspects of that. Just want a quick reaction from you on the, on the foreign government lobbying point. Would you support, uh, at the moment, the, only, the system just requires that you disclose it. You can lobby for a foreign government in D.C. You just have to report it like this guy is doing. And then, the, you know, the caravan moves on. You know, we make a fuss about it tonight and then, you know, people forget about it. Do you support a ban on foreign government lobbying? Is that something you think that we can actually do and would you support it? I would support it, Steve, against those countries who are enemies of the United States of America, which includes China, China, Russia, Iran. Uh, those are three countries to start with that we should ban foreign lobbying from. And uh, to your point, China would be at the top of the list and uh, would, would support reforms to our lobbying laws to do exactly Great. that. Great. Well, if you want to lead that effort, you are always welcome here to uh, tell us about it. Thank you so much for what you're already doing. And by the way, this guy, Samir Jain, if you want to come on and defend what you're doing, you also have an open door from us. Thanks, Congressman.